Today we'll look at the Skype for Business integration with Mitel Connect. With Mitel Connect Cloud or Primus version, you can use either the full Connect client or if you're a Skype for Business user, you can use the no cost integration. It is important to note that you cannot install both the integration and the full Connect client on the same system. Meetings and chat take place in Skype. Calls, soft phone, directory, and voicemail are handled by the integration. The integration is very compact. You can use the directory to search for contacts that are part of your phone system or from your outlet contacts. Select the green button to dial. Once the call is connected, you'll have the number pad in case you need DTMF for an auto attendant. You can conference in users, transfer, move to the mobile client, hold, mute, and hang up. The operation is very similar to the client software. Availability states are directly below. We get the same six availability states that come with the full client. Dialpad is next in availability states for soft phone users. And recent calls. I can select a recent call, click the green button, and initiate a call. Voicemails are almost identical to the full client. We have all saved and deleted. I click on the voicemail, I get callback, delete, and more. Save voicemail, copy voicemail ID, download voicemail as WAV file. Note in the integration with Skype for Business, it actually knows that it's a .wav file and saves it as such. Clicking the caret next to the Mitel button gives us desk phone, option to assign soft phone, external assignment, and the settings. Settings menu is stripped down from the full client, but we get account, full call routing, voicemail options, outlook, notifications, desk phone, soft phone, and telephony. Missing items are video, language, and work group. We do not have the ability to log in or out of a work group in the Skype for Business integration. This has been a brief overview of the Skype for Business integration with Mitel Connect Cloud or Premise.